Hi, I'm Melvin Nicholson, and today I am in Scotland. particular the section between Fort William and the Alice Sky. I'm at a place called Bun Loin and here in just nestling behind these trees is the River Loin and behind me Lot Loin which is about half a mile back that way. I was just driving through this lovely section of scenery here and it's a winter wonderland. There's about a half a mile section that is just full of trees with freshly fallen snow, absolutely stunning. So I felt compelled to pull up, walk 10 minutes, hop over the fence and set a shot up. Now, trying to find a composition, not always the easiest uh, of things because a lot of these trees look very, very similar. So what I'm trying to find is some sort of symmetry or trying to find a placement of trees that either sits on the thirds or just seems to sit well within the frame, nicely balanced. I'm all about symmetry and balancing an image. And so I finally settled on an image here, which is a portrait format. I shoot a lot of my landscapes portrait. Also using a 70 to 200 on a Canon 5D Mark IV full frame SLR. And I actually shoot a lot of landscapes with long lenses as well. I love the compression you get between the subject in the foreground which just happens to be this clump of three trees and the rock and the background subject which will be the mountain right at the very very top and then the trees in the middle background and so in using a portrait format I'm getting the shot that I want that landscape simply wouldn't afford me now I'm also thinking black and white but at the moment what's happened is we've got this dark cloud that nestles and slow, slowly rolling in across the top of the mountain summit. And what I've waited for for the last 20 minutes is a nice bit of blue to appear. And so I've got the image set up, slightly overexposed now, which I'm gonna bring back down and I'm gonna get the shot. Now this will work as well in color or in black and white. But I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll show you both the images edited now. So I have moved slightly further up the road and I am now on the bridge that I was just talking about and it's this scene here in the distance that I want. You've just got this lovely little snow covered rock in the river and on the other side of the bank you've got some lovely snow covered ground that juts out into the water. And just as I film it's now starting to snow. So you may be able to see on camera that the skies are grey all around, quite dark grey in fact. Over here, which is the direction of the cloud, it's very, very dark grey. I can barely see the peaks in the distance now. That's, that's telling me that it's going to really snow quite heavily. It is forecast um, to snow a little bit, but wow, this is uh, almost feels like Christmas all over again. Right, I've just seen another scene. I'm going to get it shot. See you in a minute. So having shot the river, I have now come off the bridge and I'm on lower ground. Now I'm actually at the bottom of a grassy slope or now a snowy slope as it's starting to snow quite heavily as predicted 10 minutes ago. And I first saw this next scene whilst walking to my first scene. And it's a gorgeous copse of trees that are set within a much taller section of trees. Now, as the snow is falling, the scene's becoming a little bit more diffused but I still think that there's a shot here. So I've got a 2470 on. I'm just gonna get a very, very simple, almost a panoramic shot of just the light trees set against the dark trees. And then I'll go for a 1635 and I'll go for a much wider view because there's some nice sort of fence uh, panels, uh, wood panels and posts 
to the right of the copse of trees that I think are also worth photographing. So uh, here's the shots. So that's those two shots in the bag. I'm now going to head back to the minibus and head to Sky. It's a couple of hours that direction. The weather's closing in, there's more and more snow falling and you can hardly see the peaks in the distance. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and the accompanying photos. If you have, please feel free to subscribe somewhere down the bottom. And until next time, keep shooting, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.